first, um, you know, I I want to get your 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 take on what we've done. Uh, tell me about you know, introduce who you are. Uh, tell me about your history and you know how long you've been a, a roofing contractor. Um, you know, what, where were you are before you started working with us? Uh, I'm Steve Langen. Um, I have a company, Aesthetic Elements. Um, we're based out of Iowa. And uh, a couple years ago, we've, uh, we decided that we needed uh, uh, somewhere where it was easier to do roofing work in the uh, um, colder climate, the, the, or the colder time, the winter. And so uh, we decided to expand into Florida. Um, it, was, uh, it was kind of a tough market to break. And uh, I've, I've spent some money on um, marketing and it hasn't been successful in the past. And so um, as of recent, uh, I decided I had to make a choice to figure this out. And uh, I, I knew other companies were doing it and being successful. And I just couldn't figure out how. Um, I don't have the time or the, the knowledge to understand how all this works. And so I, I knew the best thing for me was to just to find somebody that, that could uh, do it successfully. Um, you know, I've been in the, the contracting business for over 25 years. Um, we, uh, we do a lot of home building, um, but I started off roofing and, and I actually was one of the guys that was up there tearing shingles off and installing shingles. Um, and uh, over the years, we, we expanded our, our um, uh, building um, division, but the, the roofing has really never blown up like we wanted it to. Um, and anybody that's ever done both knows that the margins are so much better in the roofing industry than they are in building. And uh, so that's been a goal of mine the last few years is to, to really expand the, the roofing end, end of our business. And um, so when, uh, when we met Mauricio, uh, um, I, I liked what you had to tell me and um, it all made sense to me. And um, I thought uh, that you were probably the guy to, to give a shot and, and uh, see what you could do. So, awesome, awesome. Okay, so just a little background. We met at the Winter Storm Conference, and uh, you know he attended our breakout session, and I, I liked him. He, he still was very eager. And when we talked, he told me a little bit about uh, where you were. Uh, you know, you tried marketing before. Tell me about your experience before you. Have you, have you tried a, a, a you know Google Ads or Facebook Ads before, and it didn't work out? Yeah, we've uh, we've done uh, more so more with the Google Ads. Um, probably only spending a small amount, you know, maybe a, a few thousand bucks here or something like that. I don't think it was uh, um, probably done correctly. Facebook, just very small amount, just dabbled in it. Um, and and so when we were when we were doing that, we weren't seeing the. Um, return or any kind of return really for the most part and so my thoughts were well why go big into it because we just spent a little bit of money and got nothing out of it why spend a lot of money um it, you, you just always have that fear that you're going to lose um lose money and, and not get what you pay for exactly, exactly, exactly. what was the actual specific breakthrough you had working with us in terms of the lead in terms of the sales we started working back in march I think so it's almost been a month now so what was the actual specific breakthrough you had working in terms of deals and sales well so um, yeah uh, March 4th we started I think by the time we got um, the actual uh, campaigns up and running um, and, uh, and me getting the content to you guys um, I think we're probably you know just short of three weeks of actual um, some leads coming in um, right away. They started coming in um, and and good good leads. Um, more more Facebook leads than AdWord leads, um, but uh, boy, that that the AdWord leads are high quality. Um, so it, I'd, in the last um, two and a half weeks, I think we've had probably um, oh 18 to 20 um, leads come through. Um, we've got uh, four deals signed. Uh, we've got a lot of appointments set um, that are uh, in the works, and um, we're estimating probably around a hundred thousand and uh, contracts signed at this point in the shortest span. Um, so for me, um, 
that's what I've been looking for. When uh, I, I don't mind spending money if I'm getting that kind of return. Um, and uh, so we're ramping up and we're going to expand it and do it in uh, another region um, that we're uh, that we're familiar with. So. Okay, perfect. So, so I want to relay the numbers. So you, you've done a hundred thousand in sales in three weeks. That's, you know, in plus you have all the deals in the pipeline, right? So how much do you think you have in the pipeline that's going to come in the next you know month or two? That, that's correct. Yeah. So I would say out of the leads that we have, um, probably a third of them are still have appointments yet to be to be done with the customers uh, estimates to be completed. Um, so I would say uh, if, if we've locked in a hundred grand at this point, uh, it, it should be um, with what we've gotten in leads, 150, 175, um, just on what we have at this point. Awesome, awesome. Pretty easily. What was a big breakthrough you had working with us in terms of? know some of the things that you're going through because what a lot of contractors have is, is a big fear and a big skepticism when it comes to actually doing anything online can you talk about that what were you feeling before you actually made a decision to pull the trigger um yeah i'm one of them guys fearful um you work hard for your money and you, you hate to to see it just walk out the door um and so i think for me it was uh seeing who you guys have helped what their success has been and uh, being sick and tired of sitting and watching market share go to the guys that are stepping up and doing it. And um, in our conversations, just everything you said made sense to me. And um, I just got to the point where I decided, you know what, you got to try it. Um, put your faith in these guys and, and uh, um, give it a whirl because you'll regret it if you don't. Perfect, perfect. And one thing I want to add is that you, you've done two, how many videos have you sent us to? I think two videos, right, from Facebook? Two videos, yeah. Okay, so uh, we, when we talk to clients, uh, we recommend uh, doing four videos and then one video per month uh, to get the maximum results. Uh, so you, you've gotten these results even with two videos. Uh, I know Steve is going to send us four videos, but that that's really typical. I mean, what, what do you think a lot of contractors have a fear of actually getting in front of a camera and doing videos? Because um, I know that a lot of contractors have no experience doing that. Well, can you talk about that, about that experience? Yeah, I mean, it's really easy. The first video I made, uh, I thought I had to have it perfect. Um, and it, it, that was not the case. Um, you know, we, uh, the, the second one was one where, you know, we just kind of uh, did different takes on it. Um, maybe if you mess up a little bit, uh, just redo that section of it. Um, your editing team can make a really good video out of really about anything you can send. You just do your best. And uh, and send it uh, uh, send it to you guys, and you'll take care of it from there. And that was one of the things too that that made sense to me as well as um, you know you mentioned a lot that hey you, you've got to do some work on your end too. It, um, you, you're not you know uh, gonna make promises to do big things without some effort on our end, and and, and that makes sense. Uh, answer the phone calls, uh, set the appointments immediately, uh, I, whether it's you know. Um, 7.30 at night and, uh, and you, you don't want to be working anymore or Saturday morning or whenever you do that and a little bit of work on some videos and, and uh, it's, it's been a piece of cake and uh, so yeah I've got a list of several more videos that, uh, that we're working on right now we're just going to take some, some short recordings and, and get them to you guys and let you work your magic awesome awesome okay and who would you recommend this for which type of roofing company would you recommend this for <laughs> I'd say anybody that wants to, to do more revenue I, um, other than that, um, anybody that's looking to grow. Looking to grow. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Um, hey, Steve, man, I really appreciate your time, man. Do you want, do you have any else to, I think, anything else to add? Uh, the only thing I can think of is, uh, you guys have done everything you've said you're going to do. Um, I'm excited. Um, looking forward to getting this next campaign opened up here in the next few days. Um, and, uh, I'm pretty confident we're going to be working together for a very long time. Awesome. Awesome, Steve. All right, man. So anybody else that is really thinking about using our services, uh, Steve uh, jumped on right after us. We met at Winter Storm. I talked to a lot of contractors like Steve, and unfortunately did, did not decide to move forward. And I'm, I was really kind of pissed off, to be honest with you, because I, I, I uh, you know, I, I'm showing you the results, man. You're not moving forward with the help. So uh, it just takes an investment and a time effort, man. If you do it, you'll get the reward. So that's basically what everybody want to say that didn't move forward for when the storm. Um, if you want to really take the next step, 
I mean, if we're not, you know, give Steve all the business, man. So it's up to you, man. <laughs> yep, that's great. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Steve, man. I really appreciate it, man. You bet. Thank you, Mauricio. Have a good day. Take care, bud.